If you want to participate in research, don't underestimate the power of a good research assistant cover letter. Whether you're seeking to gain some research experience to bolster your medical school applications or seeking to get a coveted research assistant position, your cover letter is one of the key components of your application. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss how to write a research assistant cover letter the right way. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure that you subscribe now on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. So why should you try and gain research experience in the first place? Well, research is certainly one of the ways to build up your medical school applications and impress the admissions committees, as while most students have clinical experience and shadowing experience, not all applicants have research experience. In addition, it's also your chance to build up professional skills and knowledge in the field of your interest base. Admissions committees appreciate applicants with a research background because these students demonstrate interest in actively shaping medical and scientific progress. Since the research process is challenging and enriching, these students develop critical thinking skills and the confidence to challenge the status quo. Research experience is also highly valued by some of the top medical schools in the world. For example, over 90% of Ivy League medical school matriculants have research experience. At Stanford Medical School, 99% of matriculants have research and lab experience. It's also highly valuable if you're looking at applying to MD-PhD programs. You can't really apply to these programs without this experience if you want a good shot at admission. So to gain research experience, start seeking research assistant positions early on in your educational career. It's so much easier to find research positions while you're still a student. While you're on campus and taking courses, you're part of the student body, it exposes you to a lot of opportunities that graduates don't have. So try to look for this research experience as early as you can. Now, what to include in your cover letter? Firstly, you should always send a cover letter in addition to your CV as part of your job or volunteer application, unless otherwise expressed by the recruiter. Even if you've had the chance to explain your motivation for applying in the application form or email, you should still include a separate cover letter. This letter is an additional opportunity to present yourself as the perfect candidate for the research position. A perfect research assistant cover letter should include these following items. A clear and compelling introduction a summary of your background and experiences starting with the most recent, a demonstration of past accomplishments using specific examples, articulation of enthusiasm for the research or towards a particular research project, and your cover letter must compel the reader to read your CV and other application components if applicable. In general, your cover letter should explain why you are the most suitable candidate for the position. So how can you write it? First and foremost, when you write a cover letter for a research assistant position, you must know exactly what the position entails, what the expectations that your potential colleagues have of the new hire, and how this research position might develop in the future. If you found this position as a job posting, it would certainly be wise to study the job description closely. It usually will give you some important information. So start by studying the position summary, the duties, the responsibility, the qualifications, and of course the requirements. Next, you'll need to research the institution or department that you're applying to online. Have a look at their programs, their research profile, and the research interests of their staff. Often you can find important information about the institution's last research accomplishments and their research projects on their website. Another way to find out more information about the position is to contact the institution or the department. There's usually someone who can answer your questions like an administrative assistant, a recruiter, or someone directly involved in the research project. They're usually happy to answer questions that you might have about the job, about the department, or the institution. Just make sure that you're not asking specific questions that will be covered in the interview, such as how much does the job pay, because this obviously is gonna send the impression that you're only interested in the position for the pay, not because it's something that you really want to do. Once you've conducted all your research and you're ready to start writing, it's important to understand how to format your letter appropriately. To start with, a research assistant cover letter should be no longer than one page. Use a classic font such as Times New Roman or Calibri sized 11 or 12 and make sure that you break your letter into paragraphs. The order of paragraphs is not exactly set in stone, but I want to give you an idea of how to structure your letter. So you should start with an introduction. Be sure that you address the cover letter to the person or the persons involved in the research project. 
Typically, you address the head of the research group or the principal investigator. If this person's name is not listed in the job description, then try to find this information online or by emailing an inquiry to the institution. A personalized address is always better than a general address. Next, your primary paragraph. This should be a brief introduction explaining why you're applying to this research position, some brief background on who you are in terms of your research interests and your education. Your body paragraphs. These will be the most important sections of your cover letter. To write these paragraphs, choose the top three or four responsibilities listed in the job description and provide illustrations of how your research experience and achievements relate to these criteria. You need to prove that you meet the top job expectations of the research position. If you can convince your employers that you have the right experiences and credentials in the areas that matters most, then you have a better chance of being invited to an interview. Remember, it's always better to show instead of just telling. So instead of simply saying that you have great communication skills, Demonstrate this to them by bringing up an example. In your final section, you should explain why this research position is of interest to you and why you would be a good addition to the team and the institution. You may also add how this position will help you grow as a professional. Finally, your conclusion. Remind the reader why you're a good fit for this job and restate your interest in the position. Okay, so that'll wrap up another one of our videos. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in today's video. Are you struggling to find a research position or are you wondering how to secure a position without previous research experience? Let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you with my recommendations. Lastly, if you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.